Hey guys, it's Andrea. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I woke up about an hour ago and um, almost forgot that it was my day and I was almost ready to, you know, get going and leaving and <laughs> so I had kind of a busy day ahead of me and that was what I was focused on. Plus I have to study because I might be getting a new job. I'm doing some interviews today and so um, one of them, one of the jobs I really, really want, and so I'm just really focused on getting it, um, which is part of what I want to talk about today, because this week is what are our affirmations that we say every day or every week or whenever we say them, um, and one thing that I do every day and night is I um, say out loud what I want, and, you know, if there's a job that I want, I write I make a sentence and I read it to myself. I choose now to find my dream job. I choose now to have the perfect job by such and such date. Um, so um, that's what I do for affirmations if there's something that I want. I want to lose, or not I want, I choose now because wanting it is not specifying you know how quickly you want it, it's just saying you want it and so when you say I choose now to have such and such. You're bringing it closer to, into your life. So I say, I choose now to lose 10 pounds by blah, blah, blah. I choose now to lose 5 pounds by blah, blah, blah. <laughs> if you get what I mean. So I say that, I say these every morning and night, and <clears throat> my coach had to remind me this week because I was having some bad days. I was getting really frustrated and overwhelmed easily and I don't know if I was hormonal or what but I had some really bad days so my coach was like look calm down <laughs> write down what you want be specific choose it now and so he just sat with me and he helped me write these sentences because I could not find clarity in my brain my brain was like super cluttered and I'll start going around and, and super organizing things that don't even need to be organized when my brain does that to me and I'll freak out on everyone. Like, I don't know, just everything will bother me. And I hate when that happens because it's not very often that it happens, but when it does, it just sucks. So affirmations are really good for me when that happens and just being clear about what I want and saying it to myself all the time, calming myself down. I have something funny to read you guys at the end of my video. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's not an affirmation, but it's just really funny. I'm into, like, um, these cards. They're called Random Thoughts, um, a division of Nina Lee's uh, studio art. And they have, like, I'm sure you, some of you have seen them, pictures of, um, like, from the 1920s to the 1950s of, like, women. And then they have funny sayings, like, women in the kitchen or wives or... Um, just really hilarious. So I'm going to read you that, that at the end. Two of the affirmations that I say every day, and I put them up here on my board so that I can look at them every day and say them. One is, I now create my life just the way I want it. I am a magnet for money. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. I say that all the time. I say it when I see a penny on the ground. I pick, out, I pick it up. I kiss it. I say, I am a magnet for money. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. And I feel like that brings me closer um, to having the income that I want because I appreciate every single penny that comes into my life. And I save the, any penny or nickel or quarter, whatever it is that I find, I save it in a dish. And I'm always going to save that money and I'm never going to spend it. I'm just going to, I'm going to save it and look at it. And um, it reminds me of, of how rich I am and how rich I am in my life and and it makes me thankful for what I do have. I mean, I'm not rich financially um, right now, but <laughs> I'm rich in my life. I have um, happy, healthy children. I'm healthy. I'm just thankful for everything in my life. And um, so, so yeah, um, I am a huge fan of Abraham Hicks and um, Louise Hay and they have a lot of different affirmations. I Every year I get a new calendar of Louise Hayes and you can find them at hayhouse.com, H-A-Y house.com. Um, these are her calendars. They have like pages that you can tear off and every day is a new affirmation. Prosperity is natural and normal for me. I deserve to have a fulfilling life and I accept it now. My hands are free to hold life in any way they wish. 
I am so much more than I give myself credit for. I give myself permission to be happy and healthy. And so every day there's just like a really great affirmation that you, you know, you can just say it all day long to yourself and it's really great. It'll keep you motivated. Um, my friend got me this book for Christmas, Manifest Your Desires, 365 Ways to Make Your Dreams a Reality by Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Teachings of Abraham. It's a great book, really colorful affirmations, things to say to yourself every day. Abraham Hicks, um, she has longer type of af affirmations. Hers are more like little paragraphs that you, you know, can say to yourself. One of them is, I want to harmonize with my desire. Anytime you feel negative emotions, stop and say, something is important here. Otherwise, I would not be feeling this negative emotion. What is it that I want? And then simply turn your attention to what you do want. In the moment you turn your attention to what you want, the negative attraction will stop. And in the moment the negative attraction stops, the positive attraction will begin. And in that moment, your feeling will change from not feeling good to feeling good. That is the process of pivoting. So, so yeah, those, that's what I'm into. That's what I love doing every day. Um, I think it's really important to write down what you want and that you choose it now. I choose to have this by this date. I mean, you don't have to put a date, but that brings it even closer to you. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't weigh this week because I had a few bad days, but I did do two days of cleanse. So, you know, I probably didn't do as bad as I, as I, as I thought, but, um, I probably lost weight. I'm just probably overreacting, but I had a busy week. My kids were sick forever, probably about a week. The sickness that they had was just awful. I got over it too. And, um, then they both got sick. And so I was caring for my children every day for a long time. And then my, my daughter got pink eye in both eyes and it was a really bad case. So we were in the, um, urgent care the other night for like four hours, just waiting for some eye drops because our doctor couldn't get her in, um, for a couple days. And I was like, I can't wait two days for her to get relief from this. So we went to the urgent care. Um, <clears throat> I have an interview today at a dentist's office and also an interview at um, a place where they do their care, people become caregivers, and so I considered doing that since I'm having a hard time getting the job I want with dental assisting. But I'm really excited about this interview today because it's a holistic dentist, meaning, um, you know, she practices natural medicine, and I'm into natural medicine, so it would be a great fit for me. And um, there would be room for advancement. I'd get paid what I wanted. Um, I'd get insurance and, of course, dental. Um, so pray for me, guys. Root for me. <laughs> I hope I get this job. I really, really do. Um, it sounds like it's going to be totally awesome. So I'm going to, to work for them for like five hours today doing a working interview. Okay, so here's the funny thing I wanted to read you guys. This is the card. And it says, they say inside every fat woman is a skinny woman waiting to get out. Well, all I can say is I ate that skinny bitch. <laughs> Have a great week, guys. Talk to you next week.